and we are back. Hey guys, it's Mitch here from Rangeland RV, and I am here with Ty the RV guy. And behind us is the all new 2021 RPOD 202. First thing we're gonna jump into with you guys on this is the overall length and weight. Looking at from pin to bumper on this particular coach is 25 feet exactly, and you got a dry weight on the nose, 4,800 pounds. So if you got a large SUV or a half ton truck, you're more than capable of pulling this into your campsite. Tell us about some cool features. The big thing you're gonna notice right off the hop what do you see? Tandem axle. Yeah. This is the first ever before our pod on a tandem axle. So they, they've given you the tandem axle with a torsion axle system. The nice part about that torsion axle system is that you do get that independent suspension on each one of those wheels. It's easier to tow on the coach and easier for your towing vehicle. Let's break down some uh, construction. Absolutely. So diving into this R pod here on construction, the first thing that we love to talk about is the full aluminum cage construction. And when I say that, that means that this entire trailer is built with aluminum studs that are completely welded to help keep your trailer nice and light, but incredible incredibly strong. Yeah. The other thing with that too is this is complete block foam insulated and it's what we call a pinch roll lamination. So this entire wall that you're seeing behind me here is built in one solid piece. They actually do that all the way around the trailer which is very very unique and they use a really cool backing in behind this wall which is called Asdel. Right. So big difference between Asdel and what they used to use which is a wood Luon board is it's a lot lighter, it's actually moisture wicking, so it, it uh, like repels water, and essentially it's environmentally friendly. Which is huge. Yeah, right? absolutely. Let's talk about some cool exterior features now. So they do feature an outside kitchen. Um, you do get the nice mini fridge to keep all your snacks and beverages nice and cold. They do give you the option to have a sink here in case you did want to fill it up with water, wash some dishes. You, I have a lot of clients that put ice in there to use it to keep their drinks cold. And then you do have the, uh, the flip top there. So that is... Um, yeah, this is where your outside griddle goes. This is actually a super, super cool uh, spot. And they just put this little flip top, as Mitch likes to call it there, to keep the heat away from the back wall. You also have a pressurized outside shower as well for hot water, cold water. You can spray off dishes, quads, whatever you need. Absolutely. Just above that, you're going to see you guys have a beautiful power awning here with some outside speakers. They even do this nice white LED light strip here. And of course, they give you the amber light scare light. So that's supposed to help keep the bugs away too. Check this out, guys. Super, super sharp. The tinted automotive glass door right a lot of people are loving it it's a nice feature it's you know yeah it really uh, cleans the look up on this trailer up. for sure they do give you also those uh, more ride um, steps as well a lot stronger than your tra uh, your, your traditional travel trailer step um, the nice part too this year they added a nice little new feature they have the uh, um, option that you just push this in you can adjust the legs there before if you're familiar with the r -Pod product with the more ride steps it was a pin they've even made it that much easier for you as well Absolutely. So there is some really cool things too that we want to talk about where we're still on the outside here. For example, underneath this trailer, you have a fully enclosed underbelly. That's another new thing for our pod. So this trailer brings a bunch of firsts into the industry for our pod, which is super, super cool. What does that mean when you have a fully enclosed underbelly? Absolutely. So what they've done now is they've insulated underneath this trailer. So it really helps keep that floor warm if you're using it in that cooler temperature, like early spring or later fall. So Short it's a big addition. Absolutely. Yeah. Let's head up to the front here. Let's have a look at some cool features. For an example, you have this beautiful pass through storage compartment, which stretches underneath the bed there, it goes right to the other side. And then some minor details that we love to talk about too, is you'll see they actually have a key like system on their storage doors here. So what that means is the deadbolt key that you have into your storage door will actually open this door too. So those little 751 keys that every trailer owner has can't get into your storage compartment it's here. like Lord of the Rings, one key to rule them all. Absolutely. As we work our way to the front here, you notice you have a beautiful power tongue jack here. You got a propane tank in behind this and then another spot for some dual batteries. Check out the battery disconnect, Ty. Yeah, this is a, another cool feature they just put on uh, some of the newer models. And the big benefit of having one of these is now when you're done using your trailer for the weekend or however when you're out, you can simply hit the disconnect and you don't have to worry about taking your batteries off so it's not draining that power. Yeah, this is another Gorgeous. real cool feature too. Automotive glass windshield, right? Mm -hmm. If you do happen to get a rock chip every now and then, you can fill it up. It's very easy to repair, absolutely. Working our way back over here now, guys, you're gonna see that you have your water connections. You'll also have four corner stabilizing jacks on this trailer too, which can easily be zipped down with a power drill. 
And then of course, your dump valves over here, right in front of the tires, which is strategically placed so that you're not kicking rocks back into them. And then just above that, you have your black tank flush. What's a black tank flush, Mitch? So I'm gonna go into detail on what a black tank flush is. This here is actually a simple system you can hook a garden hose up to, and it completely rinses out your sewer tank, kind of like a big dishwasher for you know all the stuff that sits in there. You can just rinse it out nice and easy so you're not getting that smell back inside your trailer. Um, as we work our way around, one thing that we love to talk about being that this is a full bonded coach, your slide out walls here, rock solid. Yep. And then of course, Schwintex. along the sides here, you have a Schwintech slide out. So that's a four corner gear track that pushes and pulls this slide in and out for you nice and evenly. Now, follow us around the back because there is some very cool features on this 202 also. Mitch, talk a little bit more about the back of this trailer. So first thing you're gonna see here is you do have a ladder. What that indicates is it is a walkable roof. You can get up there, check your, your seals and your maintenance. Yeah, absolutely. Year, it's good yeah. to check around your roof. They also give you the option to put in a backup camera. It is roughed in, so if you did want to go that route, you're definitely able to do that with this option. Comes with a spare tire that's the same size as the other tires. If you check a lot of comparables out in the market, they're not giving you the same thing. They're not giving you a spare tire. Yeah. It's the same size as your regular tires. Mm -hmm. um, you got all LED lights on the back of here too, so yeah. you know you're not worrying about burning out those incandescents. And then of course, like your spare tires mounted to this bumper, you can even mount a bike rack to something like this too, very easy. Yep. Let's work our way back to the front now and maybe even hop inside. Walk with me. After you, Mitch. Awesome. And you guys too. So, the nice part, um, or the first thing you're going to notice here is our pod has changed the color of the inside. This is their new Chapello Honey. Um, color it is gorgeous it lightens everything up if you have owned an R pod previously um, over the years you've noticed you know it is quite dark in there and this definitely takes away any type of um, yeah they've went, feeling. they've went with some really nice neutral colors in here so it really brightens the place up for sure let's talk a little bit about the kitchen so one of the really cool things that I love about this 202 is they've pretty much taken all of their popular floor plans and slammed it into one unit so for an example you have that 179 which has a beautiful your kitchen you know you have also with that a big dinette on the slide big bathroom walk around bed in the 195 you got it all in the 202 this is the Cadillac of the R pods so right in the back here you got this beautiful stainless steel sink and then just beside that you're also gonna have a nice two burner cooktop with a tempered glass cover so like you can see you got the cover over the sink cover over the of the cooktop so you're utilizing as much space as possible you get a beautiful range hood up above here, and then of, of course, a convection microwave down below, because like you can see in this trailer, to save some storage space, um, you actually have best of both worlds there instead of an oven. And last but not least in this kitchen, six cubic foot gas and electric fridge. This yeah. is the largest fridge ever seen inside an R-Pod, and that's one of the biggest things that we get a lot of customer feedback on is, I'm running out of fridge space, I need a bigger fridge. Boom, they've done it here for you in the 202. Absolutely. Check this out right here, as soon as you come in the door, huge amount of space, right? A lot of clients are asking me, you know, where do I put my pots, my pans, all my additional stuff? You can put it right there, it's adjustable shelving in case you did want to put some clothing items in there or anything, and then yeah, just storage. a bunch of storage down there too. Yeah, it does feature a um, a fireplace. I mean, when have you ever seen a fireplace inside an R-Pod? Now you have, this guy can heat up 400 cubic square feet of hot air inside this trailer in under 15 minutes and it's great for those spring days. You can run it on the electricity and warm up your, your trailer nice and warm. Um, the other thing too, you have pretty much all your controls right here with your entertainment section. So you are gonna have like, for example, your, your awning, your slide, you're gonna have porch lights, interior lights, everything is right there. Yeah, as you work your way through the entertainment unit here, you'll notice they have a lot of shelving in here, plus up above, a beautiful coat closet, because you're always trying to find that spot for a place to put jackets and everything like that, especially in a small trailer of 25 feet. Now, follow me this way, guys. I want to show you the bathroom here. There are some really, really nice things in this bathroom. For example, being that it's a pass-through, you have so much space in here. You got a foot flush toilet, you got a full shower in this R-Pod, and they introduced a really cool feature in this shower this year, and that's the shower miser system. Mitch, what does the shower miser system do? So the awesome advantage of having that shower miser right there is, <clears throat> if you can come right on in and take a look up close, this L bracket, 
will indicate when it turns hot, it'll turn white. What it's actually doing is it's pulling the water from your hot water tank, bypassing it right back in there. And then once it's hot, like I said, that'll turn white. You flip that gauge up and it's only hot water coming out. What is that going to do? It's going to definitely take, um, it's going to preserve the amount of water that's actually draining into your gray tank and you're utilizing a lot less water. Absolutely. Ty, do not move. What is that above your head? Guys, it's a Max Air fan. You gotta watch out for these things. So, this is probably one of the strongest things that you have inside a trailer. This moves 900 CFM, so that's cubic feet of air per minute. If I was to hold a business card right here, guys, and I turn this fan on, it'll pull it right up in there. Best thing about this is if you're out dry camping, you don't have the luxury of running your air conditioner, which is also equipped on this 202, you can kick this guy on, open the windows up, pull a breeze through here, and it's super, super nice to cool that trailer down nice and quick. Now, the other thing that we talk about in this bathroom is the storage. There is ample amount of space in here. You have a huge linen closet there. Just below it, you got some extra drawers for all your toiletries and whatnot. Underneath the sink here, same thing, and a big medicine cabinet. And of course, one of the cool R-Pod touches is you have- The road vac. Absolutely. This Beautiful. is a simple system that you, of course, you can actually vac out your, your trailer now instead of sweeping. But if you do have a broom, it does have a sweep broom uh, spot area for it too. Yeah, absolutely. Come on into the bedroom here. So, like you can see right now, they got some really nice cabinetry, but one cool feature that they did put in with these cabinets is you hit this switch here, and voila, they light up. It really cleans the look up of this trailer. And then, of course, you'll notice all the blinds in here too, a nice pleated nightshade that they've gone with for quite a while now, so they haven't gone away from that. And, of course, full walk-around queen bed gives you a ton of space in here, and it's actually a private bedroom. That's a first for our pod also in this. Underneath this bed, you actually have a nice big storage chest. And then of course, right in front of that, there's a big entertainment system there too. Another spot to hang a TV. You know, you can put some magazines or if you have plants like that, you can definitely set it up nicely in here. So that pretty much wraps up this R-Pod guys. Let's go and have another quick look through here. So as we finish up in the dinette, there was a couple things here you'll notice. This will actually break down into a bed. I'm not sure if we touched on that. Um, of course, you're going to have some storage underneath here too with some nice easy entry cabinet doors. And these stretch right through to the other side. Um, and then of course too, they added a beautiful little chandelier in here to clean up the look. You got some panoramic views with all three windows. It's a beautiful trailer, isn't it, Mitch? It absolutely is. They've done a wonderful job with this product, and I think that it's just going to be extremely popular this year. Absolutely. It wasn't already with the R-Pod following. So. Yeah, absolutely. All right, guys. Well, that about sums it up. I'm Mitch P. from Rangeland RV. And I'm Ty, the RV guy. And we're saying, like my grandfather always said, Texas toast. Don't burn it. <laughs>